Hello from the big city of Gladewater, Texas. It is raining again, which is a good thing. Here it is, the uh, beginning of summer, and it has been really dry, so I'm not going to complain. However, be careful out there because they're saying that there's uh, flood, flood warnings out there, so be careful if you're out and about. I want to talk today a little bit about saying I'm sorry. It seems so difficult anymore for us to admit when we are wrong. I want to remind you about a scripture in the Bible. It's in the, the little book of 1 John, chapter 1, down in verse 9. It says, if we will confess our sins, he is faithful to cleanse us from all our iniquities. He will forgive us when we confess. How long has it been since we've actually heard somebody admit that they have done something wrong and then apologize for it? It seems we're more prone to uh, justifying the things that we do that are wrong. We give excuses. We give uh, reasons as to why we do things and therefore we almost excuse uh, what we do as wrong. A long time ago when I was a little boy, we had a preacher that said uh, that an excuse is the skin of a reason stuffed with a lie. And maybe there was some truth to that. It's time for us to open up our hearts and to recognize when we do wrong that we should confess that we've done wrong, admit that we've done wrong. And it goes a long way to rectifying broken relationships, whether that's the relationship that we have with God or the relationship that we have with one another. Admitting that we have a problem, admitting that we are wrong about something brings it into the open and therefore we can begin to work on those things. Many of the 12-step programs for addiction begin with admitting that we have a problem. Well, as we think about saying we're sorry, developing the, the spirit of penitence, developing the contrite heart that God is looking for, that's what we need to be about. Don't be ashamed to say I'm sorry. Remember the prodigal son? That when he came to himself there in that pig pen, he went to his father and he admitted, he said, Father, I have sinned in the sight of God and I've sinned in your sight and I am sorry, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. And I think that he didn't expect the response from his father that he received. His father, instead of condemning him, said, bring out shoes for his feet, bring out a robe, kill the fatted calf. The father was overjoyed that the son realized that he had done wrong and admitted it and said he was sorry. Maybe, just maybe, if we are so open to saying that we're sorry when we're wrong, that might be the very response that we will receive from others. I'm hoping you have a good day today, and I'm hoping that we will develop our lives to be ready to say, I'm sorry, when we need to. God bless and join us again.